Hello everyone, uh, this is uh, Roberto and today I'm gonna show you how to create your own video lessons or your video quizzes. The first thing you have to do is you have to go to this website right here um, and once you get there you the, the website is gonna prompt you to create um, a profile as I did the system is not requiring me anything so I, 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 I have access to all of the free um, ESL worksheets and ESL PowerPoints and video lessons that they have available or I can create my own ones so today I'm gonna create my own one here the system or the, the website is giving me three options. The first one is to generate vocabulary quizzes. The second is generate a grammar quiz. And the third one is to make my own custom quizzes. What I like about this one is that I can create um, a quiz from any YouTube video. So I already have a video, a short video here. I'm gonna copy the link. I'm gonna copy the link and I'm gonna paste it right here. Right? Once I paste the link, I'm gonna click on the plus button and Here is a short video tutorial in, on how to use this platform and how to use this, uh, this web page. I'm just going to um, overlook it for now. And this is the video. And I'm going to create, to create a new question or a new task to this video, I'm going to... Um, to click this button. Here we have different options. The first one is add a gap field um, question, um, a multiple choice question, a scramble sentence task, and an open ended question. So we have multiple choices, multiple things uh, that we can do in this video or with this video. So the first one that I'm going to use is uh, an open ended question open up, I'm going to click over here and then I can type the question, for example, what is the news about? What is the news about? Right? Um, and here is giving me multiple uh, uh, stuff, the students can give opinions, check for understanding or prediction again here is checking for understanding because the students have to pay attention in order to to answer the the question about uh, the news uh, title or uh, the news topic so um, the solution a possible solution uh, or the possible answer is the presenters eyes The presenter's eyes is, or the presenter's, is sick. Hmm, maybe it's sick. This is just a, a, a makeup, and I hit continue. And once we create a new question. Once we have or we create a new question, immediately the the question or the question that we created um, is over here. So I'm gonna let the video play. Here, I stop the video. Right, I, I click. Sorry, I click the, the 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 add button to make a new question, and I'm gonna 
create another open-ended question. What did the presenter what did the presenter do to mask the problem? Here she lower she lowered her head. Uh, she lowered her head. This is just um, an example of it. And then I click continue. Right. And another question might be what what did the viewers viewers express what did the viewers express they express sympathy team sympathy or the viewers express sympathy yes the viewers express sympathy the viewers expressed sympathy and then we hit continue and I'm gonna pause this video once we have created the questions that we want we can go over here and preview the lesson or preview the video that we've created so I'm gonna click preview lesson and I have it here I'm gonna play the video and as the video place the video is going to stop at these numbers right at these numbers so let's see the first question what did the presenter do to mask the problem? She lowered her head. Yeah. Yep, there we go ahead. What did the viewer express? The viewer Press sympathy. Yeah. The viewers express sympathy. Yeah, right. Then, if something went wrong or or any a question needed to be fixed. You can always go to edit, and then this, the the web page is going to take you to um, if, uh, open up a page in which you can edit the video again. And if you want to assign a homework, you go here, and then you type the class, the classes that you've created. Let's say class one. I haven't created any yet, and then it will create a link. This one is the link for them. I copy the URL, copy the URL, and then I send this URL to to my students, and then my students will be able to take this as a quiz, and I'll be getting the answers. So this is a pretty pretty nice uh, way to assess listening, and 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 it's and it's really interactive because students watch the videos and they can um, play it over and over 
So this is a really nice tool that we as teachers have for evaluating listening. Thank you so much for watching and take care. Bye-bye.